Quarter final simulation. We got Travis Mayer for a special presentation. Oh snap, I hope he's okay. Let's check in on the brother, see what he has to say. Was there any strategy in that or was that just like full go the entire time? Full go. <laughs> full go. Full go. So we're doing the simulation weekend to really simulate what it's going to be like in quarterfinals. Last year there were five workouts, you had a couple of days to do them. So we're trying to crunch a bunch of workouts in with certain deadlines on them, certain floor spacings to make sure that they're ready for that environment. And then also just kind of learn how to be resilient over the course of a weekend with five tough workouts. They did the open workout 22.2 yesterday and then what we'll call shoulder burn, which is three rounds of time, 750 meter row, nine shoulder overhead and 50 foot handstand walk. So this morning, their first workout is going to be a sprint workout it's 21 15 9 thrusters at 115 85 and 5 3 1 rope climb so 21 5 15 3 9 and 1 and there's a seven minute time gap and we're gonna watch travis go and all right we're gonna watch travis go and hey you guys want to see travis go hey here we go travis is gonna go hey ho ho travis oh all right we're gonna watch travi go whoever farted is seriously not feeling well today. Not <laughs> i can taste it oh what what does it taste like? Oh, uh, hell. Someone fighting demons. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. If you had to guess who farted, Pip, who is it? Jacob. I feel like somebody like came in and out. They made it fast. It, they had a point. <laughs> they had a plan. Did you fart? No, it wasn't me. Hey, did you fart, bro? Sorry. Did you fart? No. Trust me, you know if it was me. Hey. Hey. Did you fart? No, girls don't fart. We don't have the same intestines as human beings. Hey, did you fart? All right, guys, Travis, he's about to do this workout, and it's gonna be good. All right, 21, 15, nine, thruster at 115, five, three, rope, one, excuse me, rope climbs. A couple things you can think about. Travis is doing a really good job here of not going all the way to the bottom on his thruster. He's really learned to basically get just below parallel and bounce out of that position. That's gonna speed up your thruster, especially if you're longer like Travis is. He's not as short as maybe, you know, like a Frazier or a Noah. So he has to take advantage of that. And then the other thing too is pulling the bar back down to your chest. You can see here that he's actively pulling the bar once he's in full extension back down to his, I guess, shoulders instead of saying chest, but that's gonna speed up the rep. So descents in workouts like this that are sprint based or the eccentric portion is really important. And you're gonna see this on his rope climb. So as he jumps up, obviously that's like a super fast transition, but notice how fast Travis gets down the rope. It is incredible and that's what makes him, well, one of the reasons that makes him so good at rope climbs and also just faster than the field on average. He's already done two in a couple of seconds and now he's on his third. Not only is he getting up the rope quickly, but again, getting down the rope quickly. Now, this is another thing you can think about, even if you're not great at rope climbs, learning how to get down quickly will help because there's less time under tension. A lot of us are like trying to fumble with our feet and figure out how to get down, but then you're just holding onto the rope longer and that's gonna obviously waste a lot of energy and for someone like me, that just blows up my grip. Like I'm comfortable with the rope climb, but when I start holding on for a long period of time or if I'm doing legless, I get blown up. So that may be you, make sure that you practice the descent. One of the things in a sprint style workouts that matters a ton is your transitions. You can see Travis has some urgency here. Now, some of us, if it's quarterfinals, just won't be able to go this fast because of the rope climb or maybe they just, the thruster's too heavy and so you have to take breaks. But even if that's the case, what I would say is when you're transitioning between movements, make those transitions as fast as possible and then settle into your pace once you get to that specific movement. So for the instance of this workout, for the example of this workout, I would go from the barbell to the rope as fast as I can for my first rep and then settle in for reps two and reps three, or if I'm on my fives, reps one, two, and three, four, five. And the same thing off the rope. So when I get from the rope, move to your thrusters quickly. Even if you know that you're gonna have to break those up, start a set, like get over to the, or the barbell, do a set of five or six, whatever you can do, and then take your break, settle into that movement. I think it's just a little bit easier to train that way too. It allows you to be able to get to a movement without a ton of muscular fatigue in the movement that you're doing, unless it's just combos, right? So like if it is handstand push-ups with uh, shoulder to overhead, that's different than doing a lower body movement and then an upper body movement where you can transition quickly. So Travis now is on his nines. He is flying through this workout. You can see he did this all unbroken. That's really impressive. Probably only games level athletes are gonna be able to do this unbroken and as fast as he is. But this gives you a good uh, sample <laughs> of what a games level athlete will do. So now he is done with the workout. I can't see the clock right now, but I will tell you in a second when I come over here and talk to him. I'm gonna have Travis on the mic for a second. 
take this bad boy. Let's have a little fun while he's breathing hard. Was there any strategy in that, or was that just like full go the entire time? Full go. <laughs> Should we make him say his ABCs right now? Can you go through the ABCs and then do them backwards, please? A, B, C, D, F, G, H, R, J, K, L, M, P. Did you fart during that workout? No. <laughs> did it sound like it? I heard something out the outside. I definitely did. What was his time? Do you know? I couldn't see the clock. 2.44. So if you're doing this workout, try to beat it. You were moving. I couldn't even talk. I couldn't even make any points because you were just moving so fast. <laughs> <laughs> 